Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about India's mind-blowingly unique plan to study the atmosphere of Venus using balloons. Without further ado, let's get started. But before that, I would really appreciate if you just head down there and subscribe. It keeps me motivated and it will cost you nothing. And you will get weekly astronomy videos like this. Venus, Earth's sister planet, is also called the hell of the solar system due to its high atmospheric pressure and temperature. If you were to drive a car on its surface, the car would be crushed within a few seconds. It's the last place you want to be at. Anyways, that's a short description of Venus's surface. Now, Indian Space Research Organization, formerly called ISRO, is a flourishing space organization of India that was in headlines just a couple of weeks ago for its Chandrayaan-2 project. They did well in the mission, but unfortunately, just 5% of the mission wasn't successful. ISRO isn't just ready to give in. If properly funded by the government, ISRO and NASA could have achieved more than they are actually doing, meaning that without money, no one leaves Earth. Shukrayaan-1 is a scheduled mission by ISRO that involves a balloon flying over Venus's surface. I will talk about this in a second, but what's really important is that when is this going to happen? Basically, if the Indian government invests well on ISRO, ISRO is all ready for Shukrayaan 1 to launch until early 2020s. Now, the main question arises, what will happen in this mission? Well, Shukrayaan 1 will consist of an orbiter which will orbit Venus to examine its surface and atmosphere. The orbiter, once in the orbit of Venus, will deploy a 10 kg balloon that will be made out of anything that is capable of withstanding Venusian atmosphere. The balloon will be at 55 km above the surface because that's the region where we have just the right amount of atmospheric pressure for the balloon to survive. The balloon that I'm talking about here will look something like this. Of course, it will be 55 km above the surface and not at this height. Now this orbiter will be sent to Venus by the help of the GSLV MK3 rocket, the same rocket used for sending Chandrayaan-2 to the moon. If ISRO isn't funded in the future, it may not carry out this mission. But several sources say that ISRO will initiate Shukrayaan-1 project anytime before 2023. NASA and JAXA, JAXA, basically Japan's Organization of Space, are ready to help ISRO achieve this milestone, but so far ISRO doesn't appear to be taking any help. Ok guys, so this was a brief discussion, and I'm really proud of NASA, ISRO and all the other space organizations that are trying stuff for humanity. Well, this was an ISRO topic. Share this to a fellow Indian to make him feel proud. And don't forget to like this video so that this video may reach other space lovers as well. Welcome to Theoretical Hub. Peace out.